their story on their terms. As part of a multi-million dollar deal, Harry and Meghan opened up their lives, their photo albums and their Californian home to a Netflix crew. But after a lifetime of media intrusion, Prince Harry is still furious with the tabloids and the power he says they wield. It all comes down to control. It's like, this family is ours to exploit. He says his family suffers from unconscious bias, and when Meghan was exposed to racist abuse online, his relatives couldn't see the need to protect her. So it was almost like a rite of passage. And some of the members of the family was like, right, but my wife had to go through that. So why should your girlfriend be treated any differently? And I said, the difference here is the race element. The Duchess spoke fondly of the Queen, but says she was expecting more affection from the Cambridges. I've always been a hugger. I didn't realise that that is really a... jarring for a lot of Brits. I guess I'd started to understand very quickly that the formality on the outside carried through on the inside. The Sussexes already have the sympathy of some viewers. I think they have been treated badly. I think they're a brilliant couple. But after taking aim at royal commentators, they'll be expecting backlash. It's possibly the most self-serving piece of television I've seen in quite a while. This is the Kardashians on a regal level. I mean, it really is a reality show, not a documentary. The Palace isn't commenting on the series, at least not yet. There's still another three hours of programming in the pipeline. Nick Dole, ABC News, London.